Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. What if I told you that you could take the massive Epic Game Store library, the same place where you get AAA PC games for free every week, and bring it right into your pocket? Imagine downloading and playing those titles directly on your phone, anytime, anywhere. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not anymore. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Epic Games on your mobile using WinLater, step by step, with the best settings for smooth gameplay. And yes, we'll even test a real game so you can see how it runs. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics, grabbing free games from the Epic Games Store. Open your browser and search for Epic Games. Click the first result and log in with your Epic account. If you don't have an account, just create one. It's free. Once you're logged in, scroll down on the homepage. Epic gives away weekly free 8 OEA games, and you can also explore the full free games library. Just go to the Discover page, click on the price filter, and choose free. Now you have access to tons of free titles that you can add to your account instantly. Okay, now that you've got your Epic library ready, let's set up the files. For this method, we'll be using Using something called the Rare Epic Launcher, and you'll also need WinLater itself. Once you've have the Rare file, extract the file somewhere in your phone storage because we'll need it inside WinLater later. Now let's configure WinLater. I've already created my container, but let me walk you through the important settings. Go to WinLater settings first. Scroll down and make sure two options are enabled. Open Android browser in Wine and share Android clipboard with Wine. These are very important for logging in later. I'll show you my container settings as an example, but make sure for the graphics driver, if your phone if your phone uses a Snapdragon processor, select the Turnip driver. For other processors, stick with the System driver. Keep in mind that different versions of WinLater may look slightly different, so just follow along and choose what works best for your device. Don't be afraid to experiment with your own settings to get the smoothest performance. Now let's open your container, navigate to your phone storage, and find the extracted Rare Launcher folder. Inside, you'll see a file called Rare.exe. Open that. This launcher can take a while to load, so be patient. You can even check the Task Manager inside WinLater to see if it's starting. After a minute or two, the Rare Launcher will pop up. You'll see two options, log in using a browser or import from Epic Games Launcher. Choose the first option and click Next. The launcher will then give you a special link and an authorization code box. The easy way to do this is simple. Copy the link from the launcher, then use your phone's split screen mode so WinLater stays open on one side while Chrome runs on the other. Paste the link into Chrome, log into your Epic account, and once the info page appears, select and copy the authorization code shown on the screen. Since the code only stays valid for a short time, you need to act fast. Open Zarchiver in split screen just like before and head to the folder where you extracted the Rare Launcher. Create a new text file, paste the code inside, and save it. Without closing the Rare Launcher, go back into WinLater, open that text file, copy the code, and paste it into the Rare Launcher's code box. If it shows login failed the first time, don't worry. Just try again quickly before the code expires. Once the login is successful, you'll immediately see all the epic games that are linked to your account right there there in the launcher. The layout is simple and user-friendly. Now pick any game, check its download size, installation size, and even set your custom download location on your phone storage. For this demo, I chose Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, since it's a lightweight game and available for free on Epic. I clicked Install and Download Started. Inside the launcher, there's even a dedicated download section where you can track your progress just like on PC. Now here's the honest truth. Not every Epic game will run inside WinLater. Just like Steam on WinLater, some titles may show errors or simply won't launch. But like Lightweight games like Poppy Playtime work surprisingly well, and the performance is quite smooth. Heavier AA titles might struggle, depending on your device. So if you want to experiment, stick with smaller indie or lightweight games first. That way, you'll actually get playable results. And that's how you can play Epic Games Store titles directly on your mobile using WinLater. It's a bit of a setup, but once you do it the first time, it becomes super easy. If you found this guide helpful, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Creative Gamers for more tutorials on mobile PC gaming. Drop your questions in the comments. I'll be replying and helping you guys out. Until next time, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.